Well, welcome back. Just sitting here working on this knuckle trying to further this project along so I can get back to other stuff I wanted to do. This is a Bridgeport knuckle. In this week's video, we're going to show you some more of the painting things that we do. Well, mainly the painting thing that Don does or drags me into. Oh, you'll be happy to know. I got Don's bell away from him. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but he can't have it anymore. Anyway, one of the viewers was asking why I didn't tape up all this stuff. And frankly, it takes more time to tape it up than it does to buzz it off with these little uh, pads. So stick around. We're going to show you some things about Dawn painting. Uh, show you the finished product out on the ram and this. And uh, hope you like it. Hi, Don. Hi, Steve. Say hi to the people. Hi, Steve. What are you doing here, Don? You didn't bring me another piece of crappy cast iron, did you? I did not. What did you do? From my paint gun. Ah. And so you've come to paint for me today. Come to fulfill my promise that I would paint your machine. One piece at a time. It's going to be like a Johnny Cash song. <laughs> We're going to paint this today. Right now it's got about three coats of uh, high build primer on it and a product that I had never heard of that one of you viewers told me about. Icing from USC. It's a polyester finishing putty and here's some pictures of me putting it on this sucker. It looked pretty bad. But that's what it turned out after getting it all primed up. So we're going to roll this outside and paint it real quick. Oh, uh, before we do that. Gee, Steve, what the heck, man? That thing, sign, banner big enough? What sign? That one. Subscribe. Jeez, wait a minute. What the, what the heck? No, there's nothing. Got another one over there? No. Hey, you went back from there where we just came from? you turning into a subscriber whore, aren't you? Me? Yes, You're you. You're saying me? Yes. I told you you were a subscriber whore. Uh, Don, I've got a present for you. <laughs> oh, what am I? Yeah, there you go. There's you, a nice little what, necklace. What am yeah. I? Am I a cow bell? Now I'm a cow? I want to know where the hell you no, are at every cow. moment. What are you doing, Don? I'm ready to paint your machine. This it's is one of them abbreviated paint things, isn't it? This is actual the paint. Okay. Uh, what we're going to use is the Sharon Williams DTM Direct to Metal. You can use a primer, but you don't have to use a primer. And it's industrial marine grade paint. And you really like it. I do. Uh, anybody, everybody, some people ask what color my machines are. It's Gibraltar. So it's a from Sher Sherwin Williams. Sherwin Williams DTM enamel Gibraltar. This is oil based enamel. They don't recommend to thin it, but you have to thin it a little bit if you're going to spray it. It already contains naphtha as a solvent agent in the paint. So I use naphtha of just a little bit just to thin it down just a hair. So. Now we're going to get into the part where this big purple thing in front of me. That. Harbor Freight, $14 is, gun. And you on, love it. On sale, $9.95 sometimes. Well, I mean, I don't love it to paint a car, but to do this stuff, it works great. Got four of them right now. When I'm quit, you just toss it in the trash and get the next one out. You said your son or son-in-law gave you this Disposable cup up on oh, top. They, 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 uh, they sell these at Harbor Freight too. You get like eight of them for seven bucks or something like that in a pack. That's half the problem 
the time of cleaning, cleaning it, it. out is cleaning the cup real good. So with these, she cuts it off pretty good. It's it's worth it for seven bucks. Just take it and throw it in the ocean. Throw gets it rid of it. Yeah. No. Oh, we're not supposed to do that. No. I've been watching some of my sailing shows and it's a pretty big damn problem. Yeah. Their poor people are sailing <laughs> through garbage rafts in major harbors. They come here closer, I'll show you. Most people wonder how they thin how they thin the paint. What you want is it thin enough so when you pick it up it's about as thick as a pencil lead. Coming off of it. Coming off of there. So that's pretty good right there. That's good enough. Okay. Yep. So we almost ready to paint. You're gonna strain it? I'm gonna strain it. Or sloppy. Right, Got off. it everywhere. Let me see it was off to the side. Well, you fix your mistake. We'll look at something neat. Are you through yet? Okay. It's off the top of that. Scoot yeah. over a little. That's about it anyway. It's plenty enough right there. on the bottom of this. You put it... <laughs> I'll go get another one. I think you need to go look at Skillshare about painting. Look what we got here, guys. This is a taper attachment for the $10,000 or $7,000 mistake lathe. You gotta get it all cleaned up and put it back on or put it on. It didn't have one when I got it. You turn your, your dryer on and your compressor? Dryer's on, compressor's on. The hose is at the, will be at the end. You can use that blue one out there. Ready to wrap it up? Okay, let me go plug it in. I don't like to put on too much paint at a time. That way it doesn't drip. It makes it to be more air than paint. Thought you were just cheap. You can control it better. Use much paint, you're still cheap. Okay. Underneath on this side, the the rail, the as you go around the rail, the the radius up on the bottom side of the radius. Under here? No. Up higher. This point. This point. Oh, oh, yeah, I was gonna get that. If I only had a thumb.
Yeah, I see anything missing. Yeah, you told me to leave this on here and you would take care of that, but with a razor blade. When do you do that? Cutting it the two parts apart? Oh, when it's dry. When it's dry, okay. It's not like tape. You should pull the tape off before it's totally dry. Okay. But we gotta put another coat on. Okay. That's it. Over here. Right in here a little bit. There you go. Watch your hair. You almost touching that one. What do we do now? We'll put another coat on. Right now? Just a light coat. Okay. And then we'll wait and put final coat. Yeah. Now this is what the ram turned out like. I haven't done very much. I polished up that nut right there. I've got to go in here and just kiss these uh, spots. I did it a little bit right here. Just get the overspray off. And it's ready to go back together. Now Don, oh, what I've got to clean this back to silver down there. Now Don was worried about the finish on this. He called me up and he says, if you want it smoother, We'll sand it down and do it again. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I like that texture finish. What do you think? Ready to put the badges back on it, clean up that bottom, put the knuckle in, away we go. Now, a friend of mine showed me about this little Milwaukee Fuel tool grinder, I guess it is. It is just slick. You can buy all kinds of pads for them. These are some Scotch-Brite pads. And it makes cleaning up old machines really easy. Get you a little closer. Now I taped all this off here. Uh, none of this was taped off. And uh, you know it's just got a little overspray on it. Nothing, nothing big. <laughs> See, that didn't take long, and that's with a pad that's pretty wore down. Let me just twist off and got a little screw on the end, put a new one on. 
They're not very expensive either. taping it up. Nice finish. Put some bow shield T9 on it and that'll be well protected and not rusty. That's where I'm starting on this side. what it looks like in real time folks not much to it in here just like that we got a nice finished piece to go around here. No, that's not it. Well, I think so. I think this is the one. Goes all the way around on that. Well, that'll look good when we're through. These parts here you won't ever see because they're inside the the, uh, the part of the ram that holds it together. But put some lubricant on it. It's never going to have a problem. I really 
like this bow shield. Been using it for years. It's expensive, but boy, does it work. It's uh, invented by Boeing. back when Boeing was good. Or the bean counters took over, I understand. Now, this is the back side. And this is where the the head attaches. Piece of tape there. This is where this part goes. Now this part was damaged up here on this side. All the teeth are pretty well shot. Well, they're there, but they're not. In, they're not happy. And originally, this piece went like this. But now, I went over and uh, drilled another locating hole for this pin here. So the new hole's going to be right there. Let's see if I can find some American Bought a new part, except they were like $148. Find a nice little hammer. I know, I know. Musty has spoiled me. Should go in there. Let's see, uh, there we go. One little hole saved one hundred forty eight dollars. Yay! That part's ready to go back on. Now let's see. Uh, now, 
Now, these are the, the covers, and I don't know, kind of scratched up a lot. I was wondering what one of these would do to it. clean up something pretty quick with that. And that's the finest one I can find. It's a real scotch brad. You gotta be careful because uh, the blue color can fool you. They make some of these that are blue that are, are sandpaper. Uh, so you gotta make sure you get the right stuff. But let's see what a a medium grade would do. This is a medium grade compare it to the this one came from Lowe's. This one came from the internet. This is a the medium. This is a extra fine Scotch Bright. what it does on the back side of one of these. Battery's getting low. So the only thing I don't like about these Milwaukee's is trying to get the batteries off of them. When you get arthritis, they just don't do it very easy. You gotta squeeze these tabs in. That one's in. Makes you fight them. You notice compared to the uh, this one over here is the Scotch Brite Extra Fine, and that's the medium grade. It'll move some metal off of there, so be careful. That made pretty fast work of that. Of course now I'm going to switch over and put it into uh, one of the uh, scotch brights see what it looks like. Well, that looks like a big difference. Hold my paper towels anymore. Now this is just down and dirty. This is what I started with. That's just a little bit of the first attempt with the Scotch-Brite. This is going over it with the uh, medium from uh, Lowe's. And this is going after it, after the medium with the Scotch-Brite. 
And if you put that on a polisher, boy, you'd have it made pretty quick. Anyway, I want to keep on doing this and show you some of the things going on. Where's your bell? I don't trust you enough. I don't know. Forget it. No. Don, 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 Don. Oh. Like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. It's like buying a kid a drum set. Right.